everybody, it's Sandy here from Scrapbox Blessings Club, and I want to say thank you to everybody who participated in our September video hop. It was another wonderful success, and um, we have a winner. So, I got all the emails that put September hop, and they told me that they subscribed to all seven of the channels, and that they left a comment, and by random draw, number one <laughs> popped up, and that was Kay Myers. I had to look up the Kay. Kay Myers. Well, congratulations, Kay. And Kay wrote to us. She said, Hi, Sandy. I enjoyed visiting all the YouTube videos. Um, there were some really cute images. The members involved chose such cute images and made some really adorable cards. Most of them showed processed videos, which was nice. I subscribed to all seven, plus liked. So, thank you, Kay. And that is the whole purpose of the Scrapbooks Blessings Club design team, is to bring you tutorials and process videos um, for any type of crafter, from beginning to the very advanced, from those who like to do cards to scrapbooks to just quick tips or even altered media. Um, fabrics and laces and flowers and stuff like that. So I am so glad that um, everybody is subscribing and this has really kicked off really well. I'm, I'm excited. Now for my card and my hop, I did a little card that I did for a missionary uh, child and but it's gone. <laughs> I My sister came and she saw it and absolutely loved them. Took a whole bunch of cards that they're going to mail off to different missionaries around the world. So I'm very happy to help with her and her church for that. Um, but I don't have my card to show you again. <laughs> so you can go ahead and click on the video if you haven't missed it. It was the one I posted before this one. But on the card I did do a little pinwheel. And I have some here. I like making these little pinwheel. They're very cute. Let me pull up. There you go. Very cute embellishments that you could put on a card in lieu of flowers or, you know, stickers or anything like that. And you can make them a whole bunch of different sizes. So that's what I want to show, share for this uh, video for you. This is just like a quick technique. Um, here is this one. And then here is a bigger one. So you can make these any size. You just have to um, make sure that you start with a square. It has to be a square equal size for these pinwheels to work. So I'm going to put these ones down here. And let's go down. And I'm going to move the camera down to my desk. So you can see how to make one of these easy under two minute pinwheels. We'll call them. Here I have all the items that I need to make these pinwheels. And like I said, they're very, very easy to do. First off, you are going to need scissors. You're going to need some type of paper piercer. You're going to need, of course, paper and brads. Now to add on that, I do have a We Are Memory Keepers piercing mat. It's just a foam, a piece of foam. If you don't have a mat, another good um, item to use is just your uh, computer mouse pad. That'll work too. Anything with foam that you can just go ahead and pierce right in without messing up your desk. So I cut off a couple different pieces of cardstock. This one measures at five by five. This one is three by three, and this one is one and a half by one and a half. So I wanted to show you um, a couple different sizes so that you can see that it works on each one. Now, when you choose your paper, you want to pick a paper that has a small design or solid and to give it a little bit of pizzazz, you want to find a paper that is double sided, which means there is a pattern on both sides. So that way when you cut and fold, you'll have two coordinating patterns that will show through on your pinwheel. It just adds for a little extra um, detail on your project. Now, you don't need your ruler or anything like that. This is very easy. All you're going to do is grab your scissors, start at one corner, and you're going to cut to the middle. Visualize the middle of the paper. You're going to go ahead and cut to the middle. You don't want to go all the way, just um, a little bit shy of the center. Then you're going to turn, rotate, and do again. And you see I'm not meeting those lines up. I'm just cutting towards the middle. 
and then one more the last corner so I will have all four triangles cut but they're joint at the point here now all I need to do is starting at the bottom corner I'm just gonna go ahead and meet that up there at the top what I like to do is I just kind of start and put my finger right there to kind of hold it in and then I'll grab the next one and I'll meet that and overlap it in the at the top in the center then I'll grab the next corner up so basically what I'm doing is I'm starting at the bottom corner I'm bringing that point up to the center I'm skipping leaving this corner flat I'm going to the bottom right corner of the next triangle bringing that up to the center skipping here going to the bottom right corner of the third triangle bringing it flat see how that kind of works now I'm making my pinwheel design and then the last triangle I'm going to go ahead and meet in the middle now once I have them here in the middle what I'm going to do is take my paper piercer and I'm going to pierce right through all three of those triangle points okay now holding those or all three all four of those triangle points is this a square now holding that in place I'm gonna go ahead and grab my brad just like so and I'm gonna open it in the back and there is your pinwheel look how easy that is now the five by fives and the six by six I like to do if I'm going to make um, add on a little couple little sticks you know to do for a little center piece or anything like that or even for a banner these look really cool on those um, party banners and if they're really cool too if I want to hope a punch a hole here I can even hang these um, from a light fixture or something at a party so pinwheels are very 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 easy to do and it's a very cheap project too so you don't have to break the bank going to buy a lot of tools now one other thing I did grab is some stickles this is cotton candy you can get at your Michaels and to give the brad a little bit of bling I'm just going to color it with the stickles just like that just to give it a little bit of extra bling okay now for the little one I was thinking you can do the brad but it's um, a little hard for me to show you on the camera <laughs> so I'm going to show you another way that you can do this um, if you don't have a brad what you're going to do is you cut your corners the same towards the middle without cutting all the way through the paper then instead of instead of uh, using the piercer what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little piece of tape in the middle I'm going to fold one triangle over another little piece of tape get the next corner folded over so you see this is definitely another way that you can make your little pinwheels without a brad and then one more time fold it in the middle so there I have my little teeny tiny pinwheel and to help make it stick all the way down what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a pearl um, or any kind of sticky embellishment that I can go ahead and stick let me add a little bit more glue that one a little bit more there we go any little sticky embellishment a glue dots you know stickles anything like that and I'm gonna put it right in the middle and there is my teeny tiny little um, pinwheel okay so I hope this um, quick technique was fun and you learned something new and so let's be making some pinwheels <laughs> I hope you enjoyed my little pinwheel tutorial um, today also is 
World Card Making Day. Yay for all us card makers out there and crafters out there. And um, it is also kicks off our birthday month for Scrapbooks Blessings Club. We have had um, over 800 posts in the last three years. This will be our third year. We have 800 posts and we've had almost 20 different design team members throughout the year, which is awesome. So to celebrate, <laughs> I am going to do a giveaway. Uh, yeah, I love a giveaway. Yeah, what can I say? <laughs> so I'm going to open this giveaway to everybody here on Facebook and to everybody here, well, everybody who's watching this on Facebook and everybody who's watching this on YouTube. So, you want to know what uh, the giveaway is? <laughs> I have a giveaway from, let me grab it right here. It's Craft Classes Online. They have been a sponsor with us for all three years. So, I am so excited. Once again, they are going to sponsor a class uh, for value $25 or less and these classes are awesome and you have throughout the end of the year to redeem so I am so excited big shout out to craft classes online of course I will have their website so you can check it out down below in the description and what you need to do is to enter this giveaway is you're going to have to of course subscribe one leave a comment with the link below of your favorite craft tool um, technique product um, in honor of card making day or two go to our facebook page you'll find a scrapbooks blessings club just put in a search i'll have the link below but go to our facebook page join up the group and you can post a card so if you don't have a youtube video you can go ahead and post a card there too because I'm going to have that up there too. Okay. And that is it for me. So I'm going to, we're going to make this uh, very short and sweet. I'm going to give you this weekend and I'm going to pick a winner Sunday night. So that is October 1st and October 2nd. And I can't wait to see what you guys come up with, what your favorites are. So happy world card making day and happy birthday from scrapbooks blessings club well happy birthday to scrapbooks blessings club from scrapbooks bless yeah we'll go with that <laughs> until next time bye